that needs him tonight to put himself over the top that next level of, of right now he's got that big range B level fight group so he needs to get you know, put himself on the big stage tonight so look I can beat the best guys in the world in, in Zenso to go ahead and push himself through as we get ready to get this fight night underway and one of the two Americans on the card tonight getting ready to come out. There he is out of Chicago, Illinois. Mike Russo, 31 years old. Six and one record coming into this fight. You know, at 251 pounds, he's not a small heavyweight either. You know, most of the heavyweights that, in the past, and traditionally now we're starting to see guys like Brickle Krokop comes in around 225. Fedor only weighs in at about 235, 240. Uh, a lot of the heavyweights now are getting smaller, more agile. Mike Russo's coming in at 251, and he, he's still just as agile, even at that bigger weight. I know the Salt Lake Musk, but 20-pound difference of that kind of size, it, it makes it harder to move that body weight around, and Russo does a great job of it. Hopefully tonight, you know, as the American and opening up the cards this evening, he's able to get a, get, be able to get a very convincing and early victory. Russo has been a very active fighter in 2007. A four and one record this year alone. So obviously he has picked up his pace and intensity and the training and the fighting over the last 12 months. Well, you, he knows now that, that to be, he kind of won his first four matches, but to a natural athletic ability. He knows now that you really have to train and be a student of the game. To do this, really at a full-time level, you have to spend a lot more time training, but also with the training, it becomes, a, it becomes more of a fight schedule. And he, he really embraces that. It's amazing for, for his style. He has such a grueling, grueling style that he can keep such a high pace up of competition. And his opponent, Roman Sinsov, 34-year-old Russian, a 16 and 11 record. But he has won seven of his last eight fights. He had a very weird loss to Bradley Hinkle. It was a, it was a situation where we thought, oh, for sure, Zetsov's going to win. Bradley kind of was on his game, uh, on his game, top of his game two or three years ago, really wasn't on top of his game, wasn't ready for that kind of competition, and he proved me wrong by coming out there and making the, He didn't just win, he beat up Zetsov. Zetsov has to prove that, hey, he's not the only guy that comes out of, you know, that Fedor's not the only guy that comes out of the Red Devil team, but he actually is. You know, there are better guys in there than just Fedor. He needs to prove that, hey, I'm a guy that can actually, that can actually show that the rest of the team is good just as, as well as, as Fedor is. Let's take a look now at the tail of the tape. Russo and Setsov to get us started here. Setsov, three years older, more experience coming in here to this fight. Russo with the weight advantage. And you wonder also about Russo. This is the biggest stage that he has fought on, Frank, and uh, what it's like for him to step in and all the introductions and uh, the pageantry that's gone along with the night, and now he leads off the fight card. Well, when, when Pride Championship was still around, uh, he competed for the in February uh, last year, and he had his first loss, but that was only to a crowd of about 12 or 13,000. When you show up into a, an arena, you know, as big as Side Thomas Street Arena with 22,000 people, it's a huge difference. It doesn't sound like much on paper, but it's a huge difference in eyes and in visualness and, and, of course, the pressure of being near his Eve here in Japan is added to that as well. Everyone knows the fighters understand how big a fight this really is. This first fight scheduled for five two-minute rounds. Fight! That will change. We'll update you on that, of course, but this is the first of what is scheduled for five two-minute rounds. Early on, feeling each other, and now they get it to the ground. Good left. Uh, he was a little bit out of position because he wasn't going to that shot, but he sucked it in really nice, got his hips underneath him, and got, was able to get him up in the air. Man, the half guard means he needs to get one hand free. He'll start getting at least a little peppering shot. Then stuff's not going to go away quietly. This weight advantage that Russo has. Does that become a factor, do you think, here? Is now he tries to get to the ground and pound action going. As the later the round goes, the later the fight gets into it, you start getting the 12, 13, 14 minute. Yeah, it's going to start. That extra weight is really going to start. He's okay. He's okay. 
a great to push pass. Good. He really had to it. almost a drag pass. Uh, going arm. right into a uh, head on choke on the front side. He's a little bit out of position that here, that and Zenzov is so big, though, that it is easy to get this as tight as possible because he doesn't have much space. You can see him grabbing the armpit, trying to get the air back around. Zenzov's in a lot of trouble right here, even though it doesn't look like much, and the fact that Russo is so strong, he can actually he can actually make this a lot more painful than than it, it, more than a choke because of his strength in his shoulders and his arm. Mike Russo trying to take the initiative here, and so far he is dictating the pace of the very early going of round number one, getting Zinsoff to the mat. Now, if Zinsoff wants to get out of this, his legs are laying flat on the ground. You don't see much hip movement. If he wants to get out of this, he has to move his legs and his hips. You just lay there. You've got like Russo a chance just to punish you. There's no purpose to it. Move your body. Try to get yourself back at least a half guard, if not all the way to full guard. Russo has wrapped him up early and uh, continues to try to work in a position, I would imagine, Frank, where he's going to try to see if he can get another ground and pound going against Zenzoff. As you can see here from the top side, great camera angle is in this nice side position. He's in a position here, he can either pop a knee on top or, as he's doing, swing all the way out to north-south. And, and although he did lock it up and gave uh, uh, Zenzoff a little position to, to move, he's so good and agile at the ground position, Russo is just able to move it out. Real nice. Don't be afraid to hop to the side. Listen how quiet the crowd has gotten since just a few minutes ago. There's a nice Show. knee by active. Russo. Active, you go on, on We can overhear some of the conversation coming from Russo's corner. Good. They're encouraging him, of course, with the way the fight's going at this moment. Good. He slams in off early and uh, has been in control of the ground. So it doesn't look like much is happening to so those of you new to MMA. There's a lot of action going on here. He keeps reapplying, reworking his front head and arm choke, trying to get it. And he's just let the arm loose. Now he's got it sunk in a little bit deeper, just a head choke. You can see it's this is it. That this may is be it. Over. Yep. Russo's done it. Wow, he's sunk that in. Mike Russo takes control. It's, uh, he did a really good job. He kept working, kept working, kept working. They finally said, okay, I'm gonna get this position. I'm able to, you know, to finally slide it off. He just needed to lose the arm to actually sink it in better because Zensov is so big in the shoulders. It's hard for him. And it's, it's just amazing. I just don't think that Zensov is, is ready to be, put himself in the limelight that that Plato has kind of brought to the team. And he just seems to be a little bit more, losing more on anxiety than on his abilities. We've seen his abilities in the past. And obviously Russo, you know, now has proven, you know, at least to the other fans, I've already been a fan of his, but the other fans, hey, look, now he's ready for the bigger stage. Big win then for Russo tonight. And he closes out his 2007 campaign with a five and one record. It's a, certainly a happy new year for Russo and all of his family and friends in Chicago. Yeah, I mean, they're, you know, that's that's what a great way to end up the year, especially beating a guy as big a name as Zensov. He had such a huge name for the heavyweight division. It makes it great. You come back, you see the shot come in. It's a nice head outside, single leg. It's a little more of a high cross. We never hit his knees, which is the way he's supposed to do it in MMA, and slams him down hard. Once he gets to this side position, he keeps working himself out, working himself out. As you can see him scooting his hips around. You see his left arm pushing on the hip, so finally he can sink it in. Now he, he doesn't have to go all the way to the full choke because he's got it in so tight. He can just grab his hands together. He's squeezing with his with his lats and his and his uh, his upper torso to make sure the choke goes off. Sends up on his way to tap out. A strong win for Mike Russo to get us started on this night, highlighted by the return of Fedor coming up later. More live from Tokyo when we come back on HDNet.